In this video, y'all, we're going to talk about Ryan Garcia's father saying that he's very concerned about Ryan becoming a full-blown alcoholic. He haven't been able to speak to him in weeks, and it's just a whole mess. We're going to talk about all of that in this video. I'm going to let y'all hear exactly what Henry Garcia had to say. Shout out to Mill City Boxing. But this is a serious issue right here, and I told people it was going to come down to this. Make sure y'all hit my like button. Support the channel, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subbed, and let's talk about it. I seen this coming, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to let y'all hear the audio exactly on what Ryan Garcia's pops had to say. But I'm letting y'all know, man, I seen this coming. And if you go back in my archives, I did a video a while ago, and I said, Ryan Garcia beating Devin Haney like he did will become the worst thing that's happened in his career. And I'm not talking about the oysterine and the coming in three pounds over. I'm not talking about none of that. I'm talking about how he admitted that he was drinking all throughout his whole training camp for the Devin Haney fight. He even said that he drank a full beer in the locker room before the fight. At one point in time, he put up a video because his team had him do it saying that he wasn't going to drink no more for the remainder of the training camp. But that didn't last at all. It didn't last long at all because he later came back and said, you know what? I was drinking throughout the full training camp and I never stopped. But he did cut it out to go train with Derrick James and have his training sessions. But just everything that he did leading up to the fight, not living a fighter's lifestyle, being pissy drunk at night when he wasn't training and still getting the W still was able to go in there and dominate Devin Haney. And for those who really want to keep it real, being just out of shape, he wasn't in shape for that fight. He was getting gassed every time he had to throw five or six punches at a time. He was having to take several rounds off, but he still did what he did to Devin Haney after all of that. And I told people, I said, man, Ryan Garcia is going to continue to live this type of lifestyle because he won. If he had a loss and got beat up by Devin Haney, then he might have looked at himself and said, you know what? I need to clean up my act. I need to take boxing serious or I'm going to get seriously hurt. But Ryan is the type. He's very hard headed. You can't tell him nothing. And by him getting the win and dominating like he did, he thought I can continue to live this lifestyle because this is the way that I won my biggest fight. It didn't affect me. And he really thinks that. And I said this one time, and I'm going to say it again. We are seeing the new age version of Adrian Broner. We know how Adrian Broner's career played out. We know why Adrian Broner's career played out like it did. And we seeing the same thing happen to Ryan Garcia right in our face. And of course, all of his fanboys got in my comment section. They was talking shit. Oh, you don't know what you talking about. You just hating on Ryan. And I was actually speaking upon the situation in a serious matter because I look at Ryan Garcia as a kid that got a lot of potential, a lot of talent. And how we seeing him pop off on social media and, and all of that, that ain't really him. That's all alcohol induced. People change when they get that liquor in their system. And that's what you see with Ryan Garcia. He can't control his liquor and he's crashing all the way out. But when I said it, y'all didn't want to hear that. A lot of these fanboys like to get under your comments and talk slick. But now you seeing it play out. And Ryan Garcia is ruining his career as we speak. And now his father is growing concerned. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let y'all listen to what his dad had to say about all this. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. And once again, shout out to Mill City Boxing. And y'all go check out the full interview after you get done with this video right here. Do you know if he has a mentor, somebody that he can speak to? Mm, that's a good question. Um, no. Nope, not right now. It would be me if he calls me. But somebody else is in his ear. I don't know who, but 
not for the right reason. Because he needs to work out those issues. Okay? And I'm saying this as a father. Not as a mean father, as a loving father. He needs to correct these issues before other things happen in his life. So I want to protect him and give him the best advice a father can give to his son. And it is what it is. Those issues you speak upon, Henry, if you could elaborate, what are those specifically? I believe he's still drinking. And that's a major issue. That's, yeah. if, if, if you drink and you drink every day, you will soon, you will soon become an alcoholic and not even know it. If you crave it, you're an alcoholic. If you wake up and think about it, you're an alcoholic. Again, I haven't seen my son. I haven't talked to him. But if he's doing that, that's what I'm talking about, where he needs to clear that up. Because the only way you can defend yourself is when you're sober and you're coherent. Yeah, I mean, I, I see it as a huge distraction. Because he had the momentum, the momentum. Everything was going great. But something happened right after the Duarte fight. And I really want to pinpoint that. I really want to pinpoint. I want to do my own investigation because I'm being honest. It was like a 360. I've never seen anything like it. And shout out once again to Mill City Boxing for even getting, you know, Henry Garcia to open up like that. Because we've never seen Henry Garcia even open up like that about what's going on with Ryan Garcia. But we can all see it play out. A lot of his fanboys, they want to deny that he's crashing all the way out. He's spiraling all the way out of control because y'all look at it. You think a lot of the things that he do is funny, but he's a full blown alcoholic now. And he don't have anybody around him that's going to stop him from doing these things that he's doing. These people around him, they just around him for the money. They just around him for the free ride. They taking advantage of this kid. I mean, Ron Garcia and his pops have always been close and his pops say he can't even get in touch with him. He ain't talked to him in weeks. This man is concerned about his son. His mom is concerned about him. And Ryan Garcia, he knows that he's spiraling out of control because I listened to an interview with him and he said, man, I cry myself to sleep at night. We've already known before when he took, what, like a year off? because he said he had real bad mental health issues that he need to deal with. But one key thing that Ryan's father said is he did a whole 360 after the Oscar Dorte fight. And I said this myself. I remember saying if Ryan Garcia had a bit in shape against Devin Haney like he was against Oscar Dorte, he would have halfway killed Devin. He wasn't in shape in that fight. I don't know what it was, what made Ryan spiral out of control, but he was on his shit in the Oscar Dorte camp. He just lost it, you know? He lost all of his discipline. He just went, I don't know what happened. We seen it play out in front of our eyes. And Ryan Garcia, man, getting suspended from boxing, he can't fight in another, until like 10 months, right? It's the worst thing that's gonna happen for him because he's not disciplined enough to be out of the sport that long right now. Now, I'm not condoning what he got accused of doing. I'm just saying that's the worst thing that could happen for him. Because I mean, imagine he got all this time on his hands now. Now he really don't have to be disciplined. And ain't no way in hell if y'all think that Ryan is going to be able to come back have a rematch with Devin Haney and went nah, man. Ryan, if he got to sit out this 10 months, Ryan Garcia might not make it back to boxing. 
unless he go through rehab or something. He out of control at this point, man. We seen him destroy a hotel. We didn't seen him this past weekend, man, how he just acted a damn fool at that poker tournament. That's not okay. That ain't normal. And we all see how Ryan is, man. He's very, very kind-hearted and generous. Like, Ryan, to me, he seems like somebody that's just going to pay for everything just to get your friendship. He's paying for these guys around him. He's paying for their friendship. And they going right along for the ride because ask yourself, you think any of them dudes that you see around Ryan Garcia right now traveling the world with him, going along for the ride? If he get broke, all them dudes going to disappear. Ask Adrian Broner. Ask A.B. That's why I said, man, we looking at the new age, Adrian Broner. It's just the Mexican version. And with all of those millions and millions of dollars, you got to have the right guidance around you. Luckily for Devin Haney, you know, he got his pops and he really look up to his pops and he cherish his pops words. Ron Garcia, man, he got too much money and he just hard headed and he seemed like he don't listen to nobody. And don't be surprised if you don't see him training with Derrick James again. I don't see him training with Derrick James again. Derrick ain't gonna put up with all this shit. I'm telling y'all, man, uh, Ryan need professional help. But hey, all we can do is sit back and watch how everything play out. And I'm gonna let y'all know, it's gonna get real, real ugly. This is only the beginning for Ryan Garcia. He need help. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel. And y'all already know how I do. Tango talking that boxing again. Leaning to the right with the bass up loud. I slide, glide, choking on that lead. Two miles per hour, so everybody's